Welcome to the first day's play. But this time the grip all the way to the putter is in the left hand. That's obviously the way to go. The same looks like that. Real birdie for Tommy. Let's just hope that that kicks him into gear. It looks like Martin is in a little bit of trouble here at the par five third. He is indeed, Graham. He's got no lie over this green and no green to work with. Oh! Had it missed the hole, it's probably off the green the other side. I mean, that just might turn his whole tournament around. What a way to do that, straight in on the fly. Scott Jameson for Birdie. Just coming from the fringe. Right into the middle of the hole, great Birdie there. Downhill, left to right. It's coming. Yeah, he's got it. It's a great putt. Jorge Campillo. As we go to 18 and see Sebastian Gros tap in for yet another sub 71st round. That's the seventh he's had so far this season out of 13 tournament plates. So it normally gets off to a fast start. That fast start today has got him to the top of the leaderboard. Well, this could be very special indeed. That is an absolutely gorgeous shot from Garcia. firm with this and tickle it down there. Well, there you go. He read that one perfectly. So whatever was in that book must have been right. But it's Scott Hend who leads the way. Finished strongly with this birdie putt at the 8th. He's 17th. He birdied the final hole as well for a round of 67. Brilliant scoring on a really tough day. There were two 67s, but he's the best leading by one. Focusing on his own. That's a sweet strike. Oh. Now, that was a fantastic shot after watching your playing partner hit it into the hazard. Well, this putt should just be pretty flat. And let's bring it right to left a fraction. Well, I was right, it did break right to left and it's gone into the middle of the cup. Oh, that's a great betty from the position he was in from the tee. And he's got to be very relieved with that putt. I was as confused as you are. Aaron Rye, whether he was christened after Elvis, Graham Storm is going to have to find out. in between clubs for Keimer. Seven iron to get back to the flag or a solid eight just under the hole. And great concentration from Martin as the cameraman was very close. Taking a snap. That's a great shot into that pin. So we go to Chris Paisley. Hole today where they have moved the tee forward players have been able to have a go at the green, but he obviously didn't need to take it on. You hold a putt like that, make the birdie anyway. That's his sixth birdie of the back nine, best back nine so far we've had. 
who was out in 32, came back in 35. That was one of four birdies in five holes at the eighth. He shot 67 to be one of those six men at five under. in the thick stuff pin back right hard to get at this flag and oh my goodness me that is a miraculous shot well we've seen a lot of unbelievable recovery shots throughout the week that may be one of the best and if he goes on and knocks that in good looking parts a very good looking part and a remarkable three when you consider where the tee shot ended up. Just what he wanted. Languishing down the world rankings at the moment, 127th, should he win. Wouldn't get him back into the top 50. He'd be heading towards it, though. He'd be around about the 80th spot, and at least he would be changing the way he's been going over the last few months, which is the wrong way down the rankings. Now, Miguel Cajonan. Should just break a fraction from his left down the slope. Quite a quick pot. Nico Kohanen. Eight under, two to play. Ooh. Just trying to get the speed up the hill. Can he hit it hard enough to get it there? <laughs> well, there are about 15,000 people willing that one in. And that's just the ones that were here. Right to left. Right to left oh. and straight in. A stroke of genius. And I'm sure it helps him having all the experience of Dave McNeely on the bag. Brilliant. The new clubhouse leader. England's Matt Wallace with a round of 65 coming home in 31. No shots dropped. Started slowly with a 73. But what a finish. Bidding for his third tour title. Just got one more shot to worry about, Matt, and the title's yours. If this doesn't go in. Matt Wallace is the 30th BMW International <laughs> Open champion. His third title on the European Tour. And what a surprise, really, that is. And surely he can't go on walking around with a cat that says Wally on the back. Smack one. Go on, then. Go on, Dave. <laughs> Great stuff from Miko Kohanen following up his win two weeks ago in Austria. Martin Keimer came so close, narrowly missing out. Aaron Rye looks impressive. He's another man who knows how to win. Lucas Bigard was ultimately disappointed. So too was really Soren Kelsen. Had a chance, but the trophy goes to Matt Wallace. Congratulations, Matt. You had a Thank great day. Much. And congratulations on winning the 30th BMW National Open. That's Thank yours. You well done. Amazing. Congrats. Thank you. The president of BMW in Germany, Peter van Binsbergen, hands over the historic trophy. Love that trophy. Super. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. I bet you do. That's cool. Thanks. We'll see you later. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.